Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Shelly Home Design. So I'm sure you guys all remember this beautiful fake window that we made in an earlier episode. And today I'm going to try to show you how I did the sun behind it. Now unfortunately I lost a lot of footage from this project. So I'm going to do my best to explain how I did this with what I have left for the footage. But if this sounds interesting to you, then stick around and I'm going to explain in just a minute. Now I actually went with these strip lights by C by GE. I really didn't like them. I'm very disappointed with this product and I'll explain why later on. I'd say that um, to be smart, you would probably want to go with Philips Hue for this project. Now I started with a piece of aluminium that I had laying around. It was about kind of the length of the window. So I cut it to that size and to a bit wider than the window. Then I added some tape to the sides just so that it would not be super rough to the touch and it wouldn't be as likely to cut you. And I also cleaned the surface at this time. Now this clip right here, actually there's a few things that happened between this clip. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of the footage, but what I did was I attached the lights and cut them in the middle at a little point where you could cut them. And then I soldered wires to the other piece of the lights and connected them to the brick that controls it in parallel. Now, I would recommend if you're not very good with electricity and stuff like that to get a second strip and just attach that the way that it's meant to be. But this is how I did it. Now, the rest of this is actually really easy. I just screwed the rest of the aluminium um, in a concave fashion because it was a bit wider than the door so that it would be kind of back a little bit. The lights are further away from the window so they actually are obscured a bit and it gives us a blurry effect. And so I really just screwed it into the door and left it concave at the back. There was a little bit of room at the top and the bottom for airflow and the aluminium keeps the lights really cool which is very convenient. And after that I just plugged in the lights into an outlet that was nearby and that supplied power to them. So to do this, you're going to go into your app and you're going to click scenes. And I have a bunch of different scenes here and I've made them so that they do what I want them to do. So we have good morning, daylight one, midday, sunset and good night so this is how I do it I go into automation and I have these set to do a certain way so at 6 45 in the morning it does the good morning scene then at 7 45 it does daylight one then at noon it does midday then at eight o'clock it does sunset and then 1130 it does the good night so it kind of goes through those cycles and I have them set to fade five minutes while they do it now the reason why I do not like the C by GE is that when they fade quote unquote they're very choppy it's not a very smooth sequence like it would have been if it was Philips Hue so that's basically how I did it. It's really easy. I just did it through the automation. You can um, click this plus button here. Automate a scene, add extra stuff, automate a whole room if you want to. Um, it's kind of hard to explain it. I would definitely say get into the app and try to kind of figure it out. But you're going to need to create scenes first of the color and the, the amount of light you want. And then that's basically how it does it and then every day it turns on at the same time it does the thing i'm definitely going to switch to philips hue though in the future because it'll be a smoother animation so i really hope you guys enjoyed this little explanation i know that there was a lot of footage missing but i did try my best to kind of explain it i would definitely look up how to do this on the philips hue app though so do the same thing that i did with the aluminium and the lights 
and all of that and then but do it in Philips Hue and then from the app you'll do it through routines quote unquote so you'll need to set scenes like I did with this and it's uh, setting a scene is really easy you just do add new scene you click which light you want to do and then you just choose what color it needs to be very simple and then you can automate it using routines in the Philips Hue app if I do end up getting it anytime soon which isn't super likely because you know money then I will show you how but I hope you liked this video if you liked it give it a like if you really like me then subscribe and I will definitely see you guys next time have a good day bye